Hi guys. How are you doing? My name is Ingeborg. This is a Stitch Too Far. I'm here to talk about stitching. Um, counting down. Just a few more days before New Jersey retreat. And I've been preparing and I actually did a practice packing today and everything fits. <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah, uh, now it's just waiting for me to get on a flight and get over there and have a great time. I hope you are all well. And back again, I forgot to turn on the airplane mode. So no more interruptions. As I was saying, I hope you are all well. I hope you've done uh, uh, all the stitching you planned on doing. I hope uh, mania isn't doing you in. <laughs> um, uh, for me, no mania. I don't. That doesn't work for me. Let's put it like that. Um, so yeah, but I've been stitching and I have a finish. Uh, I've been stitching monogamously, as Jessie Marie would say. I think it's the right word, yeah. Um, so now I have a finish to show. Well, it's not technically finished, but it's finished as far as I could before I would leave for my holiday. So it's, of course, the Jane Austen sampler. It's a bit clary, but it's by Modern Folk Embroidery. I will link it below. And I used two of my LNS's hand dyed uh, threads called, and uh, the dark one is called Magpie. And I used just over a skein of that. I'm stitching uh, two over two on Picture This Plus Regency. And I am done, except for one little thing, which I will explain once I find something to hold behind it. Oh yeah, I was stitching this uh, as a stitch along with Tina from Simply in Stitches because she wanted to start it for her birthday. And here's my finish. And I am really pleased with how it is turned out. It's turning out a bit too bright for me to show clearly, but yeah. I did some minor uh, alterations. I removed the, there's a, supposed to be an alphabet on the bottom. There's supposed to be crosses on the church. I left those out and I added a one over one a year. This is, oh yeah, <laughs> it's backwards. Let's try this again and show you the front. Jeez, you think I'd notice. <laughs> Yeah, this is right. <laughs> well, this is my finish, <laughs> the, the right side. As I was saying, I removed the crosses from the church. I added the year in one over one. I added, I changed her years to say her birth year and her year of death. And oh yeah, I added my new signature, the coffee bean. Uh, between the birds. I think that's all the changes I made and I love it. I absolutely love it. Try and yeah, it won't focus, but yeah. So what I'm planning to add over here is uh, her actual signature, her autograph. I found uh, some pictures that have been labeled from sales at, you know, auction houses as being the real thing and the only thing I'm contemplating and if you have any tips on that I'm looking at you Mary Rose on how to actually do it because I was and I can think I understand the technique that Mary Rose uses with the couching the only thing I don't know how to do is to transfer the pattern onto here so how to do you sort of mark it with uh, 
uh, a marker that will wash out or do you just freehand it or what would you su suggest? Anyway, my finish is, well, um, yes, as I was saying, it's technically not a finish. So Tina, you can still catch up on me. But yeah, I'm calling it a finish because the autograph is the only thing left to do. And now you've also seen the back, which was pretty decent, I think. Um, I tried not to carry any threads. So, that's it for stitching. And since it's my birthday month, I am, I am following Jessie Marie's tradition of uh, having a month of indulgence. And I think Michelle Garrett also did a similar thing. <laughs> So ever since it turned May, I can't stop buying all the things. So I was at my LNS recently and I picked up some DMC. I don't know why I picked these up. I think I know, but just to. And I picked up a uh, one off gray, greeny, browny skein of floss. It's a bit more green than it's showing, but I've, I thought that's just a nice color. I will pick it up. I'm sure I can use it for something like a house on Cinnamon Stars, I think it's called by Plum Street. That might actually be very nice for that. So yeah. So those and I was out of number 26 needles. So I got those. Not very exciting. I found another of the... Hardanger books that um, Nordic Needle, I think is the shop name, that's closed now, unfortunately, that they gave, uh, did every year with a prize winning, award winning Hardanger. This is 2004, I already had a few, but I like this one, so I added this to my stash. I purchased some small patterns. Uh, this is one of Renate Paralin, which I really like. I'm not really big on fall, but I love this pumpkin. It's a small, so should be fun to stitch up. And this was on sale and I couldn't resist because I had that black teacup that I have been sitting on my cabinet now without anything in it. And I think this pink cushion would be very nice for it. So yeah. This is by the Stitching Parlor. Never heard of them before. They might be still. I don't know if I can read this, but there's uh, information about the place. Um, and I bought an online pattern because Stephanie at Lindy Stitches brought out new patterns, and there's one that I just couldn't resist. Can you guess which one? Yeah, I love this one. Now, Stephanie, you know me. <laughs> I am going to do some changes. I hope you don't mind. But yeah, I yeah, I lo I know you love your cat, but <laughs> I'm not stitching the cat. So I'm going to do this. I just I really like the saying, uh, which says, "I still remember the days I prayed for the things I have now." Which is sort of a reminder to be thankful for what you have because there used to be a time you didn't have that and you were wishing for it. So there's another thing I want to change about that and that is prayed because I don't pray. But I do hope and wish for things. So I was looking at the letters that's already in here and I can actually uh, change it into hoped or wished either one. So yeah, I will do that. Love this. I will put her Etsy shop, her link down below if you haven't already been there. Um, then I got my regular subscription of imagi sorry, imagination, uh, inspirations. It's, it's my first day off, guys. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> my brain is shutting down already. But yeah, this is a great magazine. If you haven't uh, heard of it, uh, look up classic inspirations. 
It's an Australian magazine. Absolutely wonderful. There's another... Uh, what's her name? Hazel Blomkamp design in there. That, yes, I want to do. Uh, yeah, check it out if you haven't already. It's It's not cheap, but... It's definitely called Inspirations for a reason. Um, then, I got a surprise, as you can see behind me. <laughs> um, Gliese. Made with Glee, I want to say, as the channel name. I will link it below. She uh, sent me and Emily at Stitch M. A gift which included this uh, in the hopes of settling our disagreements I think <laughs> about my husband and about fish so yeah now we both have fish to cuddle love it thank you very much Gliese and she put in a lot of extra goodies into the into the box which I really appreciated it, it included several nice uh, candies and it included this, which is a Florida orange candle. And oh my God, it smells amazing. I will try. Uh, I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to use it, I think, for when I meditate. Because then I always light a candle and some incense. But I think this might work as well. So I'm going to try that. Thank you. And... Oh, I need to cover this, but she actually drew a fish on the parcel. <laughs> You're very ta talented, by the way. And she added a bit of fabric with some Ada, I think. Yeah. Very nice. I'm sure you can't really tell, but it's like uh, the must. So it has a, a pattern woven into it. Yeah, you can sort of see. And I will definitely find a use for that. Thank you. And a lovely card. And <laughs> lovely chocolate pattern kit. And project bag with coffee, of course. <laughs> made very well will definitely get good use thank you very much that was really amazing and very generous and i, I love it thank you um, um i have sort of made some uh notes but not a lot because yeah uh, I think I showed everything I needed to show. So, um, I have been practice packing. And I uh, managed to fit everything I wanted to take with me into my suitcase and my uh, backpack. So, yay. <laughs> Which means I can bring my clamp, I can bring my uh, light with a magnifier, and I can bring my bigger travel magnifier. I can bring uh, uh, my hiking shoes, I can bring and a ridiculous amount of clothes. <laughs> I can bring all the goodies that I wanted to bring. I have decided, even though Nicole kindly provided me with a link that said that magnets were okay, I, I was still unsure because I did also find uh, indications that uh, magnets were not allowed. And I have added some needle minders to my projects in several places, but the ones I was planning to take, I would have taken as a like uh, all, all clung together and I think that might have been an issue and also I looked on the site that I usually buy the magnets from and they also had information about shipping magnets and yeah they had some clear rules and I was like yeah when in doubt don't do it so that's why I, I'm not bringing any extra needle minders but I am bringing my travel purse that uh, Marlene, Stitching by the Lake, gave me, and my little box, which includes, of course, 
my own name tag that Emma made for us for the retreat in the Netherlands. And this also includes my incredibly tiny scissors. Because you are allowed scissors onto the plane unless the blade is longer than, I think it was six centimeters. So that's two and a half inches. So that's still quite a big pair of scissors. And there's just a needle minder in there. So this is basically what I would need for on the go. So that's in my travel project bag and of course my little art bag. And I have my travel projects in there. <laughs> One of them is already started because that's my already uh, one I'm already using when I'm on the train, so that's already half done. But there's one. I had another one that I can start, and I have the one that uh, Kathleen gave me. So that should take me across the pond without a problem. Uh, so yeah. That should keep me entertained and it will fit in my bag nicely. And then I have all these to take with me as well. And they also fit in my suitcase. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. So what am I bringing? I am bringing a few new uh, starts and new purchases actually because it's my month of indulgence. So I'm bringing two uh, souvenir pieces that I'm going to stitch to represent the places I'm going to visit. Because I found this on Etsy. I will try and link it below. And I love it. It's a black work uh, Lady Liberty. I will do it, I think, without the swirls. But I bought, of course, some extra, uh, which is showing up really badly, some extra floss in the same color that I used for um, the Jane Austen sampler. This will be in my Lady Liberty, my Statue of Liberty color, and this is a leftover piece of the, what's it called, Summer Sky Jobelin by... Witchild, I think, and I used the other half for my uh, tree of stitches and this I had remaining and it fits perfectly on here. So yeah, that will be a start for the, to represent New York. And then I have something that represents Boston, well, Salem actually. But yeah, um, this you might have seen if you watch um, Laura, Messy Situation. She stitched this last year, I think, maybe this year. Echoes of Innocence. Uh, There's also an Etsy shop, I think. It's, uh, it's uh, gravestones with uh, quotes on it. And it was designed especially to commemorate the victims of the Salem Witch uh, Trials by John Shirley. And one says, I know nothing of it. One says, and then they have the names of uh, some of the victims on it as well. I really, really like this. So this will be my uh, commemorative souvenir piece for Boston and Salem. And I took a gamble and I'm doing going to try and get this stitched on murky 40 counts and I had some dinky dye silks and MPI silks that I'm going to try out on that if I don't like it then I will just work on something else uh, so yeah, that's uh, my uh, Boston slash Salem souvenir. So that's one bag. What's in the other ones? Uh, this is my bag of a uh, variety of things. Of course, I am bringing an Arlene piece. I want to start this at the retreat. It's uh, canvas work, so I have the canvas. Oh yeah, and I bought the 
DMC colors to go with it. I decided to use the new range purples. So I have a dark purple at number 32. I have number 30. That's a light purple. And the contrast is number one, which is the, the uh, off-white gray color, which will be lovely. And I look forward to starting this at the retreat. If I actually get some stitchings in. Then I brought a hardanger piece. This is going to be a sort of a housewife envelope kind of thing. I bought this last year and I'm going to use the fabric I got at my LNS the other day in green and this is a light grey pearl number 762 that I'm going to use with it. And then I brought a whip, or I'm bringing a whip I should say. Because, oh my gosh, I need to finish this. <laughs> so this is the scissor fob that I'm stitching along with um, uh, Francis, uh, My Little Stitch World. Uh, Sweetheart Tree, scissor fob, Keep Calm and Freak Out. I did the blue one already, now I have to do the back. So I am bringing just... 28 count opal and I realize I don't have the floss in here, I think. Nope. So that's what I needed. That might be the blue one over here then. Right? Here one. See, that's a good thing that I'm filming. <laughs> oh, well, I could have gotten DMC in the United States as well, but... Yep, that's the one I needed. Ha! Okay, good to know. So I will add that. Uh, so yeah. That's that one. So that's another bag. So we're already up to five projects and three travel projects. So that's eight. <laughs> Am I being optimistic? Well, you know, I'm going to be spending uh, quite a few evenings by myself in New York. I'm posing so to get some stitches in there so there's another start that I'm considering if I'm really don't have anything left to stitch on which is again something I bought uh, online I will have to check the shop name I think it's something like banana something bananiastan.com I will link it below but yeah I couldn't resist this saying I can't stop drinking the coffee I stopped drinking the coffee I stopped doing the standing and the walking and the words putting into sentence doing <laughs> so yeah this is going to be another freestyle because I decided to risk it and use some tin roof weeks dye works and I picked out some coffee color uh, NPI I think that I had left over so these are all silks that I had left over from Good Intentions by Kathy Barrick so I might start that if I feel like a new start and I have stitched everything else already and there's not, so this, this is my backup bag actually because I have another backup uh, I think already in 2016 I purchased these black work patterns from a friend of Mini Grey at All Access, uh, designs by Phil, it's an Etsy shop and I purchased these two patterns and I got some opalescent white fabric to go with that in 32 count just a regular Belfast and I have these beautiful jewelry uh, threads that Adele sent me so I thought they would be very nice to use for the black work if I wanted another start 
So the, the green and purple one is called the violet parakeet and the orangey one is called bee eater. So yeah, that's everything I am bringing. Well, as far as what I'm stitching on. And I'm really looking forward to it. Um, several people have been in touch with me to try and set up additional meetings or meetings uh, who are also arriving early. Um, so yeah, look forward to that and feeling more and more excited instead of anxious. <laughs> And uh, now the big countdown is starting uh, about the trip and the flight there. And once I'm there, I'll be fine. And uh, the weather is going to be okay, I think, sort of. So yeah, excited. Uh, so uh, all I have left is to say thank you for watching and I have one Dutch fact that I was trying to desperately think of today. So the Dutch fact of today is um, you may be aware that we are a kingdom. Well officially uh, our king doesn't have actually any say in anything but we have a king. His name is Willem Alexander and uh, when he was still our crown prince, uh, he was training for the air force, I think. Maybe the navy. I'm, I, don't, I don't really care. But anyway, he likes. He enjoys flying, and he is an official airline pilot in the sense that he can fly a big airplane. And it was discovered, or uh, I think it was some newspaper that discovered that uh, even now. Sometimes to have a bit of fun, our king actually uh, flies uh, as a pilot with our national airline, KLM. So, thought that might be interesting. So, if you ever plan on a trip and you are going to fly with KLM, you might be flown by our king. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope uh, you're all going to have a wonderful two weeks. I have uh, managed to film a coffee time video, which I plan to um, release on, I think, the 27th, Sunday. Um, because I figured if I do it earlier, everybody still swarmed with uh, Mania videos. So might as well wait a bit. So that will be up in two weeks and after that I will be back with an update on my stitching and my trip. As I said, I hope you will have a wonderful time in the next coming weeks and see you in about two weeks, maybe a bit longer. Bye guys.